Like I said, guys, in the last recording, I did watch The Munsters. Now, The Munsters, the new movie that came out, was pretty entertaining. Yeah! It was, it was kind of fun. I didn't hate it like most did, and they immediately disliked it because it was another rock or or not a horror movie. But still, it was a pretty good movie. Am I saying it's the worst? No. I think I like it. I didn't hate it, and I think it's pretty good. I could recommend it. <laughs> I watched it two times, like the Black Phone. Watching that two times. Again, the Black Phone's an interesting horror movie. With Tom Zavini, you know I'm in. After watching the Jason movies, do you think I was done? No. No. Well... It's pretty fun. It's not a bad movie. I mean, it's a kid's movie, so what did you expect at that point? But The Monsters was pretty fun. It was a very long movie, so expect a lot. But, just want to point this out. Spoilers, by the way. I love the little reference to Rob Zombie's uh, Living Dead Girl. I noticed that. It's like, live dead girls. And I'm like... They threw that in there because Rob Zombie made the song Living Dead Girl, which I recommend listening to. It was in one of the Chucky movies, Bride of Chucky. So, it's a good song. And De or Dracula by Rob Zombie is freaking amazing, dude. It's a really good song, too. Damn, I sound like a nerd. <laughs> but, honestly, I'm, I'm not ashamed of that. I love metal. Ghost... I can recommend some bands, you know, Ghost, Robstein, and I know people are going to say, what, what is Robstein? It's a German metal band. System of a Down is a good one, too. Slayer, Metallica, Iron Maiden. I didn't name every band, because I don't know a lot of bands, but I know the ones that come top of my mind that are really good. Uh, Jericho. Chris Jericho's band, Fozzy. No, I don't think that's what it's called. But Judas, yeah, the song Judas is really good. Um, Cody Rhodes' song, Kingdom. I know that it isn't really metal. Rob Stein, a couple songs I can recommend is uh, Du Hast Mesh and We Live in America. Okay, enough of talking about metal. Big fan. Guess. I love I love Ghost. I honestly Ghost, I think one of my favorite songs of theirs is Square Hammer. Ghost is freaking awesome. Slayer is dope too. Slayer is freaking awesome. The music Iron Maiden, Hollowed by His Name is good. Um Natelica, I can recommend three songs of theirs. Um Inner Sandman. Inner Sandman. But whom the bell tolls. I hope I can name this one. But I'm going to say, man. And Master of Puppets. I know people say, wow, he knows his metal. <laughs> I don't listen to a, a lot of the other Natalika songs, but I really need to. Square Hammer is my favorite out of the Ghost songs. I like the other ones too, but mainly Ghost. Square Hammer was my favorite. Rob Shine, I do like Du Hasmich and Living in America. I love it. Yes, it is a German metal band as well. So if you're curious, what? <laughs> Besides that point, The Monsters was pretty fun. I like the movie for what it's worth. It's a kid's movie, and I got a good time out of it. I know what you're going to say. Well, you are a kid, so technically you're going to enjoy it. I'm not saying it doesn't have problems. But again, people were way too harsh on it. Even the Pinocchio reboot, which... Again, there were some minor changes, which I'll bring up briefly if you don't care about the new Pinocchio movie. They changed some things. I'm going to bring this up as well. Might as well. Frick it. They brought some things up, which was random they ended up in the original if you've seen the 1941 classic pinocchio smokes a cigar in the original movie 
But in this one, he doesn't smoke a single cigar. The whale is different. It's like an octopus whale freaking hybrid. What? <laughs> Very weird. And they also changed another thing that I also noticed. They did change it. They did change it. In the original, uh, Pinocchio drank beer. Uh, but they changed it to root beer. Okay. <laughs> you, know that, you know that's fine, but it's random change. I just wanted to bring it up for the hell of it, because I saw that movie. Disney's not going to care. But besides that point, The Munsters, I can recommend it as it's just a movie you could put on for Halloween since it does represent the spooky season. Represents the spooky season in a very good way.